A stadium-sized asteroid blazes across the sky like a rolling sun, casting its shadow over shrinking cities. What's scarier? The asteroid itself? Or the fact that our best defense might not even work? Two weeks heads up, a sky-sized meteor, and humanity's options go from action movie to we really hope this works. Let's break it down before the popcorn turns into space dust. Asteroids aren't just sci-fi drama. Big rocks skim past us all the time. Some are tiny pebbles that burn up in the air. Some are 30-story buildings we only spot a day before they whisper past our satellites. Some are the kind that rewrite history. We've been lucky, often by accident. Luck isn't a strategy. What happens if luck takes a holiday? Spoiler, it's loud. Luck isn't a strategy. Movies love the nuke in space move, but in reality, that's not how it works. Space isn't like a theater stage. There's no air to carry shockwaves. Some asteroid tactics feel like trying to stop a cargo ship by tossing potatoes at it. Scientists propose using penetrators, ultra-dense projectiles placed in the path of a rock. It's not about blowing it up. It's about breaking it apart safely. You want the breakup to happen far away, ideally when the rock is millions of kilometers out. If a planet killer shows up, we're in a different league. We've found many near-Earth objects, thousands of them. Planetary defense needs global coordination, money, and infrastructure. The good news is, we're not helpless. An asteroid impact is one of the few disasters humans can prevent if we act early. The scary part isn't physics, it's indifference and delay. Ask smarter questions, fund better telescopes, Push for planetary defense that's permanent, not reactive. Because the next close call might not be a scare. It could be the last chapter. This is Mindscape, where impossible questions meet unforgettable answers. Subscribe, share, and ask the right questions before the sky forces the answer.